last week on Hoop to Cap. Y'all aren't paying attention to me again. We had four shots! Four shots! Okay, what's that tell you? You're not playing. You're not playing low. One! A second! There might be some changes in the lineup or something, okay, because we can't have what I saw today. Okay, if we have to go into Michael every time down the floor, we will, because he's out playing everybody. Montrose Christian is more than a name. It represents a legacy of winning, of hard work, of sacrifice, of values. It's eight NBA players, two national championships. It's about being the best on the court and off. Montrose, now 18-1, has no time to rest following their loss to Linden. They face Finley Prep, probably the most talented team in the country, the very next night. 16-1 is a total different thing. Only takes one loss. You lose one game on the national level, you're out. Facing a drop in the national polls, they know they must make a statement. The team is focused at their morning walkthrough. Afterwards, Justin and Tyrone call a players-only team meeting. We got the whole team in there, no coaches, uh, no one, and just the team, just guys who are out there on the court getting it done. And, uh, and we just told each other, hey, what do we need to do collectively to be able to beat this Finley team? And we talked about a lot of things. We talked about what everybody could do as an individual and as a team to get a W against Finley Prep. Everybody went around and said positive things that could help the team win the game. Finley Prep boasts three preseason All-Americans and a roster that could put as many as five players in the NBA. Tyrone is matched up against McDonald's All-American Mike Cabongo. Matching up with Cabongo is the same way of playing Queen Cup. If you come into those type of uh, games and you hear these guys all over the internet, all this Quinn Cook, Michael Bongo, you're going to kind of get a little nervous. But me, I don't get nervous because I feel as though I belong in the same league with those guys, you know what I'm saying? But my thing was with Cabongo, he's a fast point guard. So my thing was to contain him and let him shoot the three. Not let him play his game, which is going past defenders and getting the lane and dishing off for assists. I didn't want to go back and forth with him one-on-one. -on -one. I just wanted to play a team game and get the W. Okay, we want, this is the kind of game where you lay it all on the line, okay? You gotta lay it all on the line. We can get rid of that bitter taste from last night. We just go out and play our butts off, okay? What I want you to do, when we come back in here at halftime, the only thing I ask is you can say you gave it everything you've got. You know, you gave it everything you've got. Win, lose, I don't care what the score is, you gave it everything you've got. That's all you can ever do. Everybody says they gave it everything they got. Okay, we're gonna come out with a win. Okay, or at least we're gonna come out playing the best game. Right now, let's go. As the game begins, Montrose is focused. This time, it's Finley that's reeling. As Montrose races out to a 14 to four lead. Look, guys, we can't let them, okay, let them back in. They're in trouble right now. Listen, they're in trouble. Now, the only thing that can get them back in is if you start getting that look on your face or we don't start playing defense, okay? We stop, okay? Defensively, we got all five guys got to block out. If we don't have an easy break, slow it down. Let's play, hey, come on, be patient. Hey, 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 right now, we are. Come on, Joe. Finley responds, though, and narrows the lead. 
Justin Steele and three-point play gives Montrose an eight-point lead going into halftime. We did a great job the first half overall. Okay, but we got to be even, we can be even more patient. They're not guarding us very well. So don't run the play that all of a sudden I got to make something happen. Not with a lead. Okay, they're not very good defensively when they have to play a little defense. Okay, now, we can't have that transition basket. Okay, we can't have that transition when they come back there three on one. That's how they get their momentum going. And you can expect they have to come out and pressure in the second half. Okay, they've been down before. Okay, they've been down as much as we have. Listen guys, at all states I've seen, they, they're, they're a different team second half. Yep. They're going to come at you. So you got to be prepared for that intensity. Take care of the ball, handle the pressure, keep you pulled. Oh, every ball is ours. Every ball is ours. The boys got We're going to this basket right here. Yes, We're going this basket right here. Right now. We are. March Finley steps up their play. But Montrose matches that. Mello's three gives Montrose an 11 point lead and spell the beginning of the end for Finley. Montrose is feeding off their crowd who has made the long bus ride up to New Jersey. They are also receiving support from Tyrone's old fans from Plainfield who have turned out to see their local hero. They have built a 19 point fourth quarter lead. Then, in front of his friends and family, Tyrone brings down the house. Oh my God! This dunk over six foot seven St. John's commit Amir Garrett was the perfect end to Tyrone's best game of the year. When I just took two dribbles and my eyes lit up like he's not gonna jump. So when I saw it, he didn't jump and he jumped really late and I just dunked the ball and then I was so excited. It was just one of those dunks that people will remember for a long time. It's a YouTube sensation, and it's, uh, uh, I saw where it had 30,000 hits there in the first few days. It was amazing. Montrose completes the route 63 to 37. Tyrone finishes with 25 points, 8 assists, and 0 turnovers. Thoroughly dominating Bongo, who finishes with only five points. After the game, Tyrone seeks out his family. It's the first game his grandmother has ever seen. It was a blessing to come back, and I was so pumped up because for a main reason is my grandmother was able to come to my first game being that she's a little ill and things like that. And she worked a lot, so for her to come to one of my games was meant a lot to me, but I still knew what I was there for, and that was to take care of business. And still, you know, do the things that's gonna help my team to win. And like I said, it was just a blessing to see my grandmother and my family and my friends and people that I have grew up with, to see them come back and watch me play. We need ice. Tyler, Tyler, yeah, Tyler's hands hurt. Yeah. You know, he dunked it so hard in the room. That was an incredible play. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was shocked. I thought he was, I'm taking him out. He was like, I thought he was too tired. Uh, these guys cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to say, but we'll see. <laughs> Say anything but great. That was tremendous effort. Toughness. Everybody, toughness. They ran their mouth. They did everything. Okay, we kept our cool for the most part. You did a great job. Tyler, you were terrific. Terrific today. Terrific. I always tell you what you bad, but I always tell you you were good. Tonight you were good. Yes, sir. Did a great job. They couldn't. They, they had no answer when we spread it. Okay, because we had three guards handling the ball, and they couldn't guard him. But I, you know, beating Finley Prep, oh, the number oh. one team in the country by 26. Man, yeah, we're gonna stay up there, baby. Yeah.
They only bother you another game with them. They only bother you. You see how important every game is. Every game is. They only bother you. But this, but nobody in the country can say they played out in the country day, Oak Hill. And, and Finley and, and beat them like the way we beat Finley and also the overtime wins, tremendous wins. That was a tremendous effort. Good job. A lot to be proud of, take pride in this, okay, because we got to use this now, okay, as a springboard, okay, because this, this sends a message to the national rankings and everything else. You know, we're, we're there to be reckoned with. Go ahead. Okay, and, and they're a good team. They got five guys on that team might play in the NBA someday. They got, they got players on that team. And we took the heart away. We got some too, though, Coach. Heart. We got some too. We took the heart away, but the thing that did it, defensive energy at the beginning. They had no answer. Okay, they couldn't get around us out front in 21. They couldn't get around us. They got frustrated. They had no nothing to go to. Okay, so we prepared properly. You guys were, were, were focused, and it died. One, one of the great wins. Great win. Great win. Proud of all of them. Great job, man. Family loud as you can, brother. Can I say something? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs>
after winning the 2010 ACC Player of the Year Award while at Maryland. Gravis was drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies. This week though, it's the All-Star break and Gravis returns home and decides to practice with the team. Despite being on vacation, Gravis plays in every drill and even runs some sprints. His enthusiasm is infectious as he runs point for the white team in a scrimmage. You guys can't do something that, that I couldn't do when I was in high school. You guys can win a championship. Just think about that for a minute, man. Winning a championship in high school. You know, that's, that's big time, man. I always, I'm still dreaming about that. And I can't take my time back. I can't get back in here and play high school no more. You know, you guys have these chance right now. I was telling him, you know, just think about, you know, when I, when I was in high school, when I was here, I remember I used to come Unlike many teams, Montrose continues to hit the weights throughout the season. It's their high level of fitness that has enabled them to outlast teams like Arlington Country Day and Oak Hill. Leading them is strength coach Matt Johnson. Well basically in season workouts it's just for maintenance purposes. Um, off season, that's where we're trying to get them to their pinnacle and during the in season we're trying to maintain that. That's one thing I pride myself in is is getting these guys consistently better within the program. So I have a sophomore, he's going to get to that pinnacle for that season, maintain them, then get them higher and higher and higher every season. I think it, it teaches a lot of mental toughness. The same principles apply to practice and to the strength and conditioning workout. We want them to be focused, motivated, and, and show enthusiasm just like they do on the basketball court. So it, it develops mental toughness on all degrees and builds a better basketball player. One, rest. With only three games left in the regular season, Johnson's work has paid off. The team blows past Cesar Chavez. They face Tacoma Academy. Once again, Better is worried about complacency. The great players come to play every single day. And my fear in games like this where you've seen, hey, the, the, this, team, this team has won 21 games, first of all. Better understand that. All right. Second of all, you start comparing these scores and you start talking, oh, this is going to be an easy game. And if you do that, you're not very good. If you have said that you're not that good a player, because the great players, the ones that get hung from the rafters, come to play every single game. Montrose comes out firing. Tyler Hubbard can't miss in the first half. He has the biggest scoring half of the year for any Montrose player, with 21 in the first two quarters. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Montrose controls the third quarter and pulls away for the easy win. Their play is worrisome to Vet. The win feels more like a loss. All right, give yourself a hand for the win anyway. I want all eyes on me right now. Okay, don't fiddle with anything else. Body language in some of you guys is terrible. Tyrone, Michael, Kevin. I call you out, okay? Body language is not that of a great player. You don't talk about body language, right? How you look, how you're perceived. 
okay? And at times, other guys that way. You can't have that and be a great player. Okay, there's always somebody watching. Always somebody watching. Guys out there, a lot of rating services out there today. Okay, Bob Gagan was out there. The founder of the McDonald's game was out there today. Okay, and some of you guys, when you get opportunities, man, you gotta take advantage of it. You get time, you gotta take advantage of every second. Hey, we got more to play for than anybody else in the country. You understand that? Don't you understand that, Tyrone? Okay, this is not playing field. Okay, you can get a national championship ring before your career's over. Okay, don't you understand that, Michael? All Gravis used to talk about was winning the championship. He still has never won one. Okay, you guys got a chance for that. But I don't think you understand what it means. Not everybody now. Some of you guys play your butts off. Tyler had the best half he's had in the first half. 23 points at halftime. He shot that lights out. A lot of you got a lot at stake, and a lot of times people are coming. Okay, Virginia Tech came to see you play the other day. You know that, right? Okay. Did you play well? No. Did you have fire? No. So you don't have to shoot the ball well. You have to play with fire. Okay? You have to play with intensity. You have to practice with intensity. That's what they want to see. Okay? They are, you already got the size and everything to play there. There's always people. There's college coaches out there right now. Always people watching. And sometimes it takes one play for that coach to say, I want that guy. Okay, and that one play could change your whole future. Next week on Hoops Academy. We have a chance to, to, to cap off the best season in, in the history of Montrose. Everybody here would like to have one of these. Yes, sir. Everybody here, everybody in this room would like to have one of these. Yes, sir. We still have a good shot at it, but it starts tonight. Let's, Let's go. go right now. Let's go right now. Okay, we've come a long way. We've had a great season. This can cap it off. A memory for a lifetime. And let's go get it right now. Let's go.